Okay, so I'm done. This is the finished um, packed suitcase for the most part. I still have to do a pint-sized Ziploc bag of um, my liquid toiletry slash cosmetics slash whatever items. And um, I'm going to pack some makeup, but that's like a flat palette and some brushes, whatever. Um... So, and I might put them in one of the compartments in this bag, but, um, so yeah, this is, I lost count of how many outfits you saw earlier. I had seven dresses, well, seven dresses and, in, and in, including two jumpsuits, which aren't dresses, but you know, we're counting them anyway. Um, I added at least one more dress. I have probably some leggings in here. Um, I've got something to go to the gym in and two pairs of shoes um one pair of ankle boots one pair of heels that's these plastic bags you see under here this is actually a blazer um but yeah I don't like yeah like for shoes usually use just a shoe bag or I like to reuse plastic bags for that because I'm weird about like feet and shoes and I just want something I can throw away or recycle after I'm done so these are not actual packing cubes. I mentioned before that I am uh, coming out with a line of organized travel accessories. And these are actually my toiletry bags, but I'm using them as, pla as a bleh. I'm using them as packing cubes right now, but they will come in black, gray, and pink. I'm going to name the colors something. That's why I paused. I forgot what I was going to call the gray. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, I'm thrilled that I'm done packing early. I'm going to pause, do something else with my time, hit the reset button in my brain, and then revisit, um, making sure that I haven't forgotten anything. Um, because I find that it's good to take a pause and then come back because that's even what, whether you're writing, whether you're packing with most, um, cumbersome slash, I don't know, long-term, longish term tasks that require multiple steps it's good to to um take a break to step away and then come back and that's when you catch your errors. You know how like if you you don't realize you forgot something until like you're a mile down the road. Similar concept except I'm replicating that process by stepping away, going to do something else, probably going to run to the store and get some snacks or something just cuz I'm I want a snack. Um and I've tried not to keep too much food um in my house because I won't be here for 2 weeks. So yeah, and probably you know take some snacks on the plane too. Um, I guess, although you can get that at the airport. So yeah, if you're wondering about wrinkling and things like that, the clothes wrinkling, I, um, fold and roll. I tend to find that there are fewer wrinkles that way and any wrinkles that do appear. Obviously, if you're staying in a hotel, they have irons and whatnot that you can use. Um, I'm, I don't like to iron. Um, but there are some hacks like hanging your clothes up in like the warm, steamy shower, not in the shower, but in like the bathroom when it's steamy. So the wrinkles fall out. Um, I personally like to use downy wrinkle releaser spray where you just spray the fabric and smooth out the wrinkles. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And a lot of this stuff is kind of clingy. Well, whatever. Yeah. None of this stuff is super, you know, fabric that like becomes easily wrinkled and, yeah. So anyway, I'm tired in case you can't tell. Um, actually really I'm hungry because I've, I've not been, I had like a light snack. I, yeah, I'm going to go eat something. Um, so that's that I'm all packed. I'm going to check in for my flight. I may come back with another video just on general, like getting air organized to go to the airport. Um, for those of you who don't travel a lot, those of you who do just comparing notes. Um, yeah, so I am going to end this video here. I will see you again soon. Until the next one, take care and be well. Bye.